Okay, shalom. Shalom. Kwa miya shalom. Kwa holo imu a yahawa ba shim yahawa shai ba ha shim rakha ha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to save the water for the Aki and Menachwath that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemel Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just wanted to touch on this article. Um, it says TikToker Lena McHerji gets two years in jail for speaking Islamic phrase before eating pork in video. And it's a few things I want to touch on in this particular article. Um, we're going to grab a few comments to show you that these Americans, they don't see anything wrong with the eating of pork. And they talk about the freedoms of America and how great America is because you can just eat whatever you want to eat and destroy yourself. You know, I we'll always say that this is um, this place is like the only place on the planet where you can legally self-destruct. Now, I don't know. What, hey, see this social media, too, is fucking people up because she should have known. I'm sure she she should have known better than, you know, doing what she had done. But them two years, I bet she won't do it again. And then she's got a healthy, a nice little healthy fine. And at the same time, too, also want to mention that you could call these people barbaric. You can say what you want. I mean, we already know that the religion is crap. We know that, um, you know, that that Islam and this is why you so-called blacks, especially because a lot of our people, as far as um, the tribe of Judah, they're into that shit. But, you know, there's so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans that your, your biblical nationality is your Hebrew Israelites. And our God, his name is Yahweh, the, 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 the God of the Bible, the one that created the heavens and the earth. We, we don't have no replica God. We don't have no offshoot God. We have our father who created the heavens and the earth. His name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And again, our God is not some offshoot God that's created and made up with damn wood, stone, um, some creature or some shit that somebody molded together and, 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 you know, put some paint to it and a little bit of gold on it. And now uh, it's being worshipped. Actually, the Lord told us to stay away from such things. You see what I'm saying? So I wanted to just touch on a few things in this article. But that social media tearing the asses up. Because as you can see, generally these women are not into stuff like this but of course this is babylon the great that's pushing out the you know the babylonian wine the babylonian juice everybody's trying to be like america that's the problem with the entire globe this is the reason why america must be destroyed this is the reason why nuclear weapons are coming this way man to destroy the the influence of, of babylon the great the great whore man the, the virgin daughter babylon this place is the it, it is the influence of all the wickedness that's going on throughout the entire planet that even these modestly so-called dress Muslim women are out here they they, they want to show themselves and they use the so-called Negro woman to push a lot of this shit with your Cardi B's your Megan Thee Stallions your your damn um sexy reds ugh. you know just ugh. you know what I'm saying it's just disgusting out here trying to uh, uh, navigate through this world and find a, a, a decent lady man <laughs> anyway let's get some of this man the lifestyle influencer will face a hefty fine in addition to jail time. Not a bad looking chick, but you can see she got that hair color. Where do you think she get that hair color from? That look. Esau. Edom, the so-called white woman, the so-called white man. You know, his way of doing things, right? Because generally these ladies, they don't have no, their hair color is not naturally that color. Anyway, the 33-year-old, now she's 33 doing this stupid shit. 33-year-old lifestyle influencer. Um, Lena McHerji was found guilty by, the, by an Indonesian court of inciting hatred against religious individuals and groups. McHer Maher Maherji identifies as Muslim, so she's identifying as a Muslim, a, re a religion in which pork is strictly prohibited. And the incriminating video, which she posted in March, said she she said bismillah in arabic phrase that means in the name of god before consuming crispy pork skin you motherfuckers out here eating goddamn pork rinds man that's jake all damn day long see well like i said again you can say what you want about those people but health wise 
they not over there fucking with no pork like how America is every goddamn thing got a slice of bacon on it. A baconator, diced up bacon on your pizza, diced up bacon. On your, you trying to, matter of fact, people here are claiming that they're eating healthy or have a damn salad with bacon in it. You see, bacon bits, all that disgustingness. See, at least they got sense enough not to even, you know, deal with that. But where do you think they get that from? They get that from the scriptures. They get that from, you know, our forefathers. This is not something that they came up with. A lot of these countries of old, you know, that, that lived like in ancient times, so to speak, you know, because a lot of those countries still have ancient customs. They get that from the scriptures, you know, from the laws of Moses, man. Anyway, let's move on. It says, um, McHergy, born Lena Lefwadi, changed her name because of her, her door. Because of her adoration for Bollywood movies. See, there you go. Where do you think she get all that shit from? Bollywood movies. You gonna change her name? You know what I'm saying? And get and, and just change your whole culture. See, that's that's that Babylonian juice. Where do you think the Bollywood shit come from? It comes from these Americas. Your so-called white man. Them people trying to be like these goddamn Americans, man. Anyway. She was ordered to spend two years in jail for posting a video that went viral on TikTok. The influencer faces a fine of over $16,000 and may face additional jail time if she doesn't pay up soon. This case is the latest involving Indonesia's controversial, vigorous blasphemy laws. So see, some of these countries, you know, they, 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 they not playing that shit. And like I said, again, their religion is, is shit. You know, their their religion is 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 false. They're they're worshiping a false god. <laughs> but but even then with their false god, they're better off than these damn Americans, man, with this white Jesus. Because white Jesus is telling you you can eat pork. You can fuck your system up. You can have high high blood pressure, diabetes, hypertension, and whatever else comes with that shit. America's telling you, yes, you yes, in the name of white Jesus, you can self-destruct, basically. Right? It says the country has a Muslim majority. However, McCurchy was traveling in Bali, a part of the country that has a Hindu majority. When she recorded and posted the video, she said she she tried pork out of a curiosity, according to the news outlet. See? You you just out of your curiosity, you just gonna try some pork. Come on, man. You know, but fuck that, you know. I uh, see we was eating pork out of ignorance but once we once we came into this truth you know that was out the window and these christians you got these christians that'll tell you that you can eat any damn thing man because of peter's vision rise peter kill and eat they don't understand that that scripture you know the context of what was going on that the lord was you know there were israelites that were being called gentiles that were basically living gentile customs and they were israelites though so that's a part of the circumcision and the uncircumcision and all that good stuff. That's another lesson. But basically, that vision that Peter had to rise, Peter, kill and eat, it wasn't about him eating no goddamn gorilla, going out and, and, and strangling no, no damn camel or, you know, eating some of Because he said straight up, look, Lord, I, you know, I've never done it, eating anything abominable like that. But what, if you go further into that, that chapter, it goes off into never, you know, the Lord not telling him hey look don't call no man common or unclean because the gentiles that were israelites that were living after these gentile customs were going to be called back to come back into this truth to come back to their heritage though some didn't know that they were israelites some of them knew that they were israelites you know what i'm saying living after greek customs eating all manner of bullshit so they only use that scripture all out of context and say, see, the Lord said everything, you know, is good to eat and we can eat this and we can eat that all to justify the fact that they're eating something that the Lord said don't eat. Stumbling blocks, man. Stumbling blocks. You see, anyway, that's another lesson, though. It says uh, she also runs a business in India and has more than two million TikTok followers. See, that's the problem. Them goddamn TikTok followers. She got two million TikTok followers. She's probably gonna have even more now because they're gonna be they're gonna wanna follow her jail stint. They're gonna wanna follow how she's doing in jail. You go to jail and you think it's gonna be some fucking pork in that jail? 
I'm surprised they even have uh, 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 wherever they didn't find out who served her that shit and come in and, and, and arrest their asses too. Where did you get fried pork skins from? Come on, man. It says after her TikTok went viral, a concerned citizen reported her to authorities. Police charged her in May for circulating hateful information. Authorities claim her video was an act of hostility involving ethnicity, religion, and race. See? Now, let's, let's grab the scriptures on, on swine, right? This goes against the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. Watch him, I was shot. When you, 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 Jake, man, y'all coming to this truth, hey, start reading labels, man. Get rid of all that pork shit, all that swine, you know, and start reading labels. And, and you know, you just have to pray for mercy. Because we are living in, in, in a place where our bread is defiled. Matter of fact, let me let me let me grab that real quick. Ezekiel 4 and 13. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the, shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So everything that we eat is defiled overall, but we try our best. We do the best that we can. We pray to Yahweh for mercy. We pray that, you know, he will direct us in a path where we can go and get the best that we can in these lands, you know, of our captivity. And that's that, man. We just have to just kind of deal with it. But we do have a responsibility to read a label, man. Read labels. And Esau then got slick, too, man. See, uh, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. You know what I'm saying? That's that Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Uh, uh, because Esau is calling pork different names now. You know, they, they, they use, uh, uh, you know, parts of the pig and all different kinds of shit, whether it's, you know, skincare products. It can be uh, shit you can have on a, a pair of damn uh, pig skin shoes or some shit. You, who knows, man, with this man? He'll put that shit in your Jello, your milk, your, your, your Gatorade, whatever the hell, man. Well, you know, so this is the reason why we ask the Lord for mercy, man. In these lands that we're living in. Now let's put in the the the, uh, the laws. You got Leviticus 11 and 7. It says, "And the swine, though it though he divide the hoof, and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you." Deuteronomy 14 and 8. It goes a little bit further. It says, "And the swine, because it divided the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud. It is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh." nor touch their dead carcasses see we're not supposed to be dealing with no swine at all man and it's not healthy for you it's just not healthy man i, I you know i lived in the south for a period of time and you know i you know i had the experience of actually you know watching damn pigs and hog they call them hogs some of them get big as a goddamn cow calling them hogs you know what i'm saying and the way that they just interact and just how they muddle in the mud and how they'll eat anything <clears throat> and you know, I, I, I was able to see that firsthand. And so when I came into these scriptures, I'm like, I can see why, you know, the Lord doesn't want us dealing with nothing like that. Because that goddamn swine, that pork, that goddamn pork, that, that, that pig, man, that motherfucker will eat anything. He'll eat his own doo-doo, his own feces. I'm talking about just nastily, just waddling in nastiness, man. You spray water on them, you know what I'm saying? Clean them up. They'll go right back to that mud, man, and waddle, and, 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 and you know. Wow, right down off into it and get comfortable into it. That's just their nature, man. The Lord created them to be the vacuum cleaners of the earth, so to speak, just like them bottom feeders in the, in the ocean. People out here eating shrimp, crab, lobster and oysters and mussels and, you know, uh, squid and, you know, all these different things. The Lord didn't create those things to be eaten. He told us what we should eat out of the waters. If, if it doesn't, if it's not fish with fins or scales, you're not supposed to eat it. Here you go. You got Jake out here. Damn delicacy. Uh, uh, scoffing down jumbo shrimp. Jumbo, you know, jumbo. Uh, 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 just all oh, man of frog legs and shit. Jake trying every goddamn thing. Being like the damn enemy. What, uh, now out here with all these, you know, badass health issues and wondering what's going on by the time they turn 40, man. Can't walk a flight of stairs. Got all manner of diseases. Raising these goddamn babies off McDonald's and a bunch of bull Mac ribs and just disgustingness, man. Anyway, let's grab. Um, I just wanted to go check out these comments, though.
check out some of these comments. These are your your Americans that will read something like this and, and doesn't have sense to know that, you know. Now, I don't know why they, they may do that over there. And, um, you know, as far as Muslims, I don't know their true reason. Some of them may tell you that it's unhealthy. Most of them will just tell you it's just a part of their religion. They don't look at it as a health um, issue. See, this was a part of our culture. The Lord gave us laws, statutes and commandments, and he gave us a dietary law because the Lord created all things. He knows what's what he knows what's healthy. He knows that, you know, the, um, you know, your your herbs and your your vegetables and your, you know, fruits and things of that nature are healing agents and things of that nature. And that, you know, it's certain stuff that he created for other things. He didn't create no goddamn hog for you to be eating, no swine, no pig to be eating, man. But anyway, check out these comments. It says, this is what so-called woke liberal liberals want here. Use the wrong pronoun, go to jail. Drive a diesel truck, go to jail. Fly an American flag, go to jail. Reject anti-American liberal ideologies, vote red, see? So here in America, you know, the, the people, see, that's why America is, is so appealing. That's why um, John, when he had that vision, and the angels was basically like, you know, why are you marveling at her? Because this is a very attractive place to just be carnal as hell, man. Every desire that you ever want to fulfill, you can fulfill in this place and you can do it lawfully. You can do it lawfully. They have laws where you can actually do it lawfully. There are certain places in America where you can actually have an animal as your, your spouse, man, and actually sleep with it. Intercourse with it. And it's legal if you're into that. If you're into, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna even talk about the alphabet shit. You already know what's up. They write, it's lawful. They make sure that you, 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 you're able to do it. When it comes to righteousness though, it's against the law. Unrighteousness is, is, is lawful. That's how you know that you're in a place that's just wicked as hell, man. Matter of fact, let's get um, another scripture real quick. This comes to mind. Lock yeah. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's America. If you're trying to be good, you're trying to live by the law, statutes, and commandments of the scripture, you're looked down upon. Actually, they, they, they're, they're pretty much about ready to um, start arresting the apostles and the, 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 the prophets, man, uh, the elders and the bishops of these scriptures, man, that's going out on the highways and byways that's teaching this truth. They're, they're putting together their game plan to basically bring forth the famine of the world, which is by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be his 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 plan that's going to be implemented. But he's going to use Esau Edom to basically shut down this word going out. Because why? They don't want to hear righteousness. You're a spoiler. You are a spoiler of the party if, you, if you're talking about um, the scriptures and, and bringing out righteousness. They don't even want you around. They're looking at you like you're goofy, you're corny. Or no, don't invite that nigga to the party. All he's going to do is talk about the scriptures. You know? They don't want you around. That's the reason why you lose so many family members and lose so many friends and lose you know, contacts and stuff when you come into this truth. And it's a good thing anyway, because you don't need them around you anyway, because you don't need their fucking influence, man. You need them um, um, gotten rid of. And that's what the Lord does. He needs this truth. It, it, it's a light that comes on. And, 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 and the scriptures talks about how um, those that live in darkness don't want no parts of the light, man. That light comes on. They like, ah, you know, it's like, you know, you, you trying to wake a nigga up out of bed. You flip the light on. And he throw the cover over his head so he can get back in the darkness. Ah, can you turn the light off? You know, anyway. <laughs> Let's just grab one more of these, these, one or two more of these comments. One more scripture and be out. This person said, Rob White, wish the libs who talk about how bad our country is would read things like this to understand just how good we have things here. So this person is like, yeah, we have it good here because we can just go and get pig knuckles. You know, we can eat chitlins. We can, you know, and it's mainly Jake that really eat a lot of this nastiness, man. Some of, you know, in the deep south and shit like that, a lot of, uh, you know, Esau be eating all kinds of shit, too. But mainly 
this this traditional well, oh yeah well we, they gotta have it for Thanksgiving they gotta have it for Christmas you know they gotta have I gotta have my chillings who the fuck wants some some intestines to eat with possible feces still in it man just ugh man pork chop sandwich you know what I'm saying all kinds of all manner of pa parasites in that shit all manner of shit in that shit and then you got the so called white man with his data telling you about how healthy it is to have that particular type of protein. This man is a goddamn liar, man. You have to realize that you're dealing with a, a, a damn demon, man. A demon writing law. A demon is over you, man. Talking about trying to give you righteousness. Anyway. This person says exactly. God bless. It can always be worse. <laughs> this person says jail time for what you eat, speak, write or think makes you appreciate what we have here in the United States of America unless you are a Democrat in which case you be all in favor of censorship as long as it's against your political opponents but see this is the way this is your average American right here this is your average American right here so this person says just to go to show that you just just goes to show that just goes to show you that America is the last place on earth where there's free speech. See? But see, and, and, and see, when the Lord comes back to, to run things, you're not going to be able to just do what you want to do. And see, these Christians, they, 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 they claim that they're Christians. They lie, love the Lord. They don't want the Lord to come back. Why? Because these Christians are some of the worst ones. That, 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 they the ones that's out here pushing that you don't have to keep no rules. They're the main ones that's pushing that you don't have to keep no, the law, statutes, and commandments. What do you think the Lord is going to do when he comes back? You're going to fucking be keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You're not going to be running around here talking about what you want to talk about, saying what you want to say, doing what you want to do, being out what time of the night you want to be out and all this other shit. Then I, I, I can do what I want. I can shoot up, drill this, my body, my choice. Going out here deleting babies and shit. You're not going to be able to do none of that shit in the kingdom. Any of these Christians are the laws done away with. All right. Well, what, what, what do you think? Well, why is the Lord? Why is the new covenant talking about the Lord's writing the law, statutes and commandments on our minds and our hearts, man? So he just got rid of the, 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 the law. So you can he died. So you can just be a goddamn maniac here. You can just live nastily. You can just live a, a disgusting life. And he's just coming back to just just save you. And, and everything is just going to be perfectly fine. No, man. You need to be trying to clean yourself up right now. And, 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 and basically, the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So what are the commandments? Because if you really, truly love somebody, you're not going to cook them up no pork. You're not going to make them a pork dinner because you're going to care about their health. As a matter of fact, if you really, truly care about your family, you're not going to eat that shit and, and, and it uh, uh, put your ass in a wheelchair or something. Now, all of a sudden, a person got to stop their life to push your big ass around them big ass ankles. They got to try and they got to stop their life to 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 make sure you're OK. Now, if you really love your people, that's love right there. No, I'm not going to place myself in a position where I'm going to, you know, um, hurt my family in a way that, you know, and it's nothing. I mean, you know, we have ailments and, 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 and people go down, you know, things happen. You get what I'm saying? But to just a person telling you, man, you need to stop that smoking. You need to stop that drinking. You need to stop this, that and the third. Then all of a sudden, you know, you get into a goddamn car accident because you're drunk over drink somewhere and got into a car and, and, and fucked yourself up. Now you in a goddamn wheelchair for the rest of your life. Now who got to take care of you? Your family that you so-called loved, that you placed them in a position to, to, to you know, basically stop their lives to, to, to now uh, 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 fucking circulate around your goddamn life now. You know? You're smoking, you done lost a lung, you want a goddamn oxygen tank, you need to be taken to the, you know, you done got people out. And not like I said again, you know, there should be family-oriented stuff. When you come together with family, it should be happiness and joy, but not you placing a burden on your family, man. You know? Because cause, cause, cause it comes down, when you, when you love them commandments, it goes further than, you know, um, you're not committing adultery or, or, you know, with your, with your homeboy's um, woman. 
you know, uh, stealing from your, 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 your people, you know, um, coveting and, and, you know, just doing wickedness and shit. It goes further than that. If you really love your family, you're going to want to try and be in the best health that you can possibly be in so that you don't burden them with having to take care of your ass, having to wipe your ass, man. Having to try and get your big ass over into a tub of water. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, your, 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 your kids, you know, they have to, you know, they ruin their, their marriage having to come to take care of your ass. It's strain on their marriage. It's strain on the relationships as far as like what they got going on. You get what I'm saying? But see, only here in America is a place where you can legally self-destruct and, and it's, it's perfectly fine. Matter of fact, they're looking at you like you're stupid if you're not. What do you mean you don't, you don't do this? So if you, you don't have no fun? They call it, see, wickedness in America, they call it, they call it fun. Matter of fact, um, it, it's a scripture that talks about, um, I've seen it today too, and I'm not sure where it's at, uh, but basically, uh, it, it's a, f a fool. Let me see if I can find it. So, like, you bear with me. Somebody in the hood playing that old school. Oh, I can't. Uh, I can't. Be I can't think how it was worded. Uh, trying to think what. Matter of fact, I think it, it could have been in this chapter I was reading today. So, like, you bear with me if I can't find it. But, you know, but basically, overall, to roughly paraphrase it, hey, fools, man, they, they love sin. They, they look they, 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 they looking at it like it's the best thing going. Yeah, I can't see uh see where it's at. Uh oh, this is it right here. Proverbs fourteen and nine. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. In the New Living Translation, it says, "Fools make fun of guilt. Uh, uh, fools make fun of guilt, but the godly acknowledge it and, and seek rec reconciliation." See, fools make a mock at sin, and, and that's what you what you have here in the Americas—a bunch of goddamn fools running around. But let me get this one too, and um. Let me see if I can find this one. I end out with this. Yeah, um, Isaiah 66 and 17. And this is for you, 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 um, you so-called Christians that's running around here talking about how the Lord, everything is okay to eat and you can just do what you want to do. And, you know, see all that iniquity, all that iniquity, all that sin upon sin upon sin that's building up on your ass. The Lord is going to deal with you, man. You want to repent and change up as best you can, man. Now, are we perfect? Are we going to be perfect? Does the law save us? No, it doesn't. But. You got to still at least be trying. The Lord didn't, didn't, didn't send his son to go through that treacherous beating, the, the hanging, you know, the, 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 you know, being nailed. In. The Lord didn't go through all that, man, for you to be a goddamn demon. You should be respectfully saying, you know what? The Lord went through a lot for us. And let me try and live my life the best that I can, you know, according to the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But like I said, again, we're not saved by the law because the Lord ultimately came to give us that ultimate salvation you know what i'm saying he done what needed to be done because the sacrifices that blood sacrifices that we was doing of the old testament hey that wasn't working no more you know that that was pretty much it was like a precursor anyway of what was to come with our lord yahweh Shai. he was the ultimate sacrifice and by him being that ultimate sacrifice out of respect for him you know just out of love for him he said if you love me keep my commandments just out of love for him you should want to love your brethren as you love yourself you know, you should love him, you, him. First off, you should be thinking on him with all your mind, heart and soul and trying your hardest to please him. 
You don't just go out here and be like, oh, well, the Lord, he died for us to just go out here and just shoot at people, rob people, stab people, do it. We can just do as thou wilt. No, man. Isaiah 66 and 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord Yahweh. My shim Yahweh shy, man. Because you got people that's out here eating goddamn mice, cat, rat, and dog. We ain't gonna even talk about Moab, the so called Chinese people. They eating every goddamn thing moving, humans and all, probably. Anyway. You know, I just wanted to touch on this, man. I, you know, I really, you know, saw this and I was like, and I was reading the comments and I'm like, these goddamn Americans, these Americans, you can say what you want about these people, but, but see, you, you're, you can freely self-destruct in this place. That's the reason why when we go into rulership from our Lord, and I pray that I'm a part of that, man. Hey, hey, people are going to be, this is how they're going to be blessed. They're going to be blessed following after the, the rules and regulations and law statutes and commandments of the Israelites. Why? Because they're going to know to not eat things that can kill them. They're going to know, you know what I'm saying, not to tamper with the water, not to, um, um, you know, be trying to fucking put together this fruit with that fruit and making hybrid shit, you know, and putting this with this and mingling this with this. A man being, no, no, no. A woman being with, the, no, no, no. Ain't going to be none of that goddamn confusion, man. It's not going to be any of that confusion in, in, in our society. It's not going to be no fucking drugs and no, no. Here you go. You got a goddamn Narcan machine where a person can fucking overdose and you can help him come back to life so he can overdose again. No, it's not going to be any of that foolishness, man. So I just wanted to touch on that, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Shalom.